I had a special request for a small ball workout. So Joy and Lou, this one's for you. Before we get started, you're going to need a chair and a ball. I'm using a playground ball just because of the rainbow colors. And when we sit down, I use the Navi ball that we use in the gym. But make sure you're, you've got a mat under your chair so that the chair doesn't slip. And make sure your chair is not collapsible. You want the chair here for stability, just because we are putting things under your feet and the chance of falling, you don't want to take that chance. But I've seen some really great chairs and thought they were regular chairs until they collapsed. And folding chairs fold, so you don't want that if you're losing your balance. You don't want to be surprised by a folding chair folding. All right. All right, so let's get started. We're going to start from the bottom up. So just grab the ball with your feet. Kind of play with it a little bit, get used to it. Just making friends with the ball, bouncing it up and down. Okay, we're going to start just by rolling in and out just a little bit, getting used to it, feeling it move. All the weights in the left and the left foot, the right foot's rocking and rolling. Just opening it in and out. Now take it out as far as it can go. See if you can roll it back behind you and then roll it forward. The odds are good at some point this ball is going to get away in, in your workout as well. You'll find the ball rolling away. It is a toy. Play with it. So let it go. Go get it. Come back. We're just rolling the foot in and out. Bringing that ball back as far as it'll go now. Really making it a big movement and as far out as it'll go. So just back and forth. gonna go we're at five so five more back and see the ball that way there it is so five and out of four three bring it back behind two Last one, bringing it back to center. All right, it's got it in the center. We're gonna roll the ankle. Now, just like you would normally roll the ankle, only this time over the ball. And you'll find that simple little movement can be very difficult. But roll the ankle in one direction. We'll go two more times over the top, and then we'll roll it in the opposite direction and then roll it backwards. I just kind of follow the ball. So many more muscles are used when you're doing the ball than if you're just standing here rolling the ankle because you've got to control the ball. So while it seems like an easy workout and a fun toy, it's actually much more effective. So rolling the ball, um, going across the body now, just rolling it back and forth, kind of getting a feel for it. And then we're going to go and make that movement a little bit bigger. So see if you can walk that ball out, opening up the hip. Probably notice your quads about starting to talk to you. Rolling that ball out and bring it back across as far as it'll go. Great big space, big movement. And over and back. Five, five more, halfway there. Rolling it. And you can feel how it's working the different muscles in the toes to move the ball. All of this weight is being balanced on this one leg as we come across the body, keeping that stability muscles going. Two, two more. And across again. Last one. Bring it back in. Step off the ball and just kind of shake the leg out. Take a little bit of minute to relax there. And we're just going to step it over to the other side. There you go. Just make friends with the ball on the left. A little bit of friends in the left and the right leg. Bouncing the ball, making friends with it. Little roll, little shake. And start going in and out. First, just a small motion. Rolling it back and forth. And then let's work it into a bigger motion. See if you can extend the leg out. 
And then roll that ball all the way back behind you. You'll notice the difference between the first leg and the second leg. The non-dominant leg is going to be a little bit more tricky. And back. Down and forward. Notice all the different ways the leg is moving, the foot is moving, that keep that ball under control. Back. And forth. That's four. Five more. Coming back up. One. Three. Two. Back behind you. Well, I thought we should have mentioned at the start, it's easiest with your bare feet. And last one, out, and back in, and bring it forward. While we're here, let's take a minute and just roll it from side to side. Move it from foot to foot, coming one way, tiny little soccer kick. Being careful to go to seat again where you can lose your balance because the ball is really under your feet. And back. Just tapping from one direction to the other. Okay, coming up, we're going to reach down in a squat, pick up the ball, and lift it up overhead. So coming down, here's our squats. Weight back in the heels, push your bottom back as if you're going down into a chair, and back up. So maybe you get all the way to the floor with the ball, maybe you don't. Find the place that's right for you. Maybe your squat's here. That's good. Bringing it up and down. Five more, up and down. Four more. Last one, one more time, going down and coming back up. All right, step those legs in. Now we have the ball. He tosses from left to right. Bring the ball all the way over to the left. See if you can exaggerate the movement. Make it as big as you possibly can. Over and back. So you can add that rotation. Now follow the ball with your eyes. Five, you get a little better twist. Six, four more. Five, this is six, four, three, two, one. Last one, coming across. And back to center. You gotta go the other direction. So bring the ball from the left hip, or the right hip. To the left side, following it with your eyes. Two. Going for ten. Five. Four. Three. Great big movement. Two. One more. Following it with your eyes. And back to center. Excellent. I'm going to switch to the bobby ball now. There we go. Got the ball. We're going to bring the ball out straight out front and we're just going to open the arms wide and then bring it forward. Change hands with the ball. Bring the shoulder blades together. Come forward. Open out. We're going to do it two more times and then we're going to add on. Open and closed. One more time. Open. There we go. This time we're going to change the ball. Roll the ball down and back. 
and come back up. We're just rolling that shoulder blade and then bringing it back in, weaving it over, roll the ball down and behind it, and then rolling it all the way up. Looking deep into that shoulder blade and then bring it back to center. Open it out, roll it down, roll it up, bring it back. Out, roll it down, roll it up, center, down and up. Last one, we're gonna change it up just a little bit. So we're gonna take the shoulder roll out, bring the ball forward, and I want you to tuck the chin and round the back as you do it. And then open out, bring the heart forward, really extend that arms behind you again. And roll it in, this is a standing cat cow. Open it out, flexion and extension of the spine. Great for the arms. Looking out and up. Great way to stop the rounding of the back. Great for posture, pulling down, opening out. In. One more coming forward, opening out, and let it down. All right, we're going to come to the chair. Yes. Make some fun ones. Before we get too much better, we'll do some grip strength and arm work, and then we'll do some isometrics. So holding the ball out, turn the ball. So the palm is up, ball is in one palm. And we're just rolling the wrist from the side. This looks like this. Rolling the wrist up and down. One, two, four, five. If you don't think of the flexors and extensors in the forearm, so you have to pick up a bag of groceries. Six. Squeezing and holding for five, four, three, two, one, and release. Again, squeezing in, holding out. Notice we're working up the arm for five, four, three, two, one, relax. One last time for that one. Bring it in, squeezing it tight for five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Coming back to center. Now we're going to get tricky. We'll do one for one more for grip strength. Then we'll get tricky. So go hand around the ball, bring just the thumb and the forefinger in, and hold. For two, three. Then change to the thumb and the pointer finger for three, two, one. Other finger. Three, two, one. Pinky finger, ring finger, I couldn't think of that. Pinky finger. Three, two, one, holding it in nice and tight and letting it go. All right, this time going back with the balls in your palm. Pinky finger and thumb go in, squishing them in as hard as they'll go. And then pushing in the ring finger, changing to middle finger, and then the pointer finger. Excellent. Okay, right, before we switch to the other side. Here's the tricky part. Palm down, right hand down, ball's on top, left hand is on top of that. So the ball is sandwiched between the two hands. And we're gonna roll that ball up and over. I find it easiest to make a fist so that the fingers don't get involved. The fingers always wanna get involved and then it screws it up. So what you got is speed bag arms. And we're gonna go forward. I'm going nice and slow because it's tricky to control the ball. And then we're going to go backwards. So bringing it back at you. Rolling it. Alright, and when we're ready, roll it in the opposite direction one more time. So going forward. Alright. In three, two, one. We're going to switch it up. Hands are in the same position. Right hand is down. Ball. And we're just going to rock it in and out just a little bit. Just feel it roll across the top of the back of the hand. So both arms are coming in and out. 
and we're going to work it out. See if you can take it up over the wrist and maybe a little bit further. Pull it up towards the elbows. See if you can leave that ball. Try and keep the fingers out of it. The fingers will screw it up every time. It's just rolling, but you've got to control the ball in between the arms. Forward and, or up and down. Notice the stretch in the back of the shoulders. You can work in the arms. And then come back to center. I'm going to flip it over so the left hand is on the bottom, right hand is on the top. We're going to work our way over to the other side. So we stay back arms going forward. Like I said, it's easiest if you make a fist so that your fingers don't get involved. Because they'll want to hold on to the ball. And the trick is to not. All right, in two. One, now we're going backwards. Going backwards. And then going forward. Speed bag the arms. Moving forward, keeping that ball moving. Alright, and stop. So with the left hand down, ball on top of that, right hand is on top of that. Rolling back and forth. Rolling up over the wrists. And then flip it a little further. See if you can make it all the way up. Back and forth. Very good. Twisting the shoulders and back. Or opening the shoulders all the way up. The elbows are almost parallel. And then bring it back down. And open and closing that shoulder blade. Alright, and two more. Open and close. And just for fun, bonus points, and just because it's tricky, see if you can roll it over once or twice. So it goes right over the end of the fingers. It's just for fun. It's kind of a tricky move, but it's just fun. All right, coming back to the opposite hand. Let's go with the fingers first. So starting at the top, you've got the thumb and the ring or the pointer finger. Squeezing it as tight as it'll go for three, two, one. Bring that middle finger in for three, two, one. Ring finger, squeezing it in as hard as it'll go. Three, two, one. And pinky finger, again. Three, two, one. And release. Going backwards. Take that pinky finger in again for three, two, one. Ring finger, three. Two, one. Hold that middle finger in and then the pointer finger. Right. And coming back in, we need to squeeze that ball as hard as we can. Squeezing it tight for five, four, three, two, one. Just doing some grip strength. One more time. Squeezing it in for five, four, three, two, one. Take the arm out, push it from the side, and the end. We're rolling it up and down. So the wrist moving, all the action is coming from the wrist. We hear some popping and cracking there. Up, up, and roll it down. The whole action is just the wrist. The arm doesn't, isn't that engaged. Down and up. And two more. Take the ball, we're sitting up nice and tall. Grab a hold, of, the ball should be in your left hand. Grab a hold with the right hand to the side of the chair. Lean down as if you're gonna push or touch the ball to the floor. Leaning over and coming back up. Switching hands and lean off to the right. Hold the chair if you need it. Lean down, coming back up. I knew the ball would get away at some point. Rolling it down to the left, reaching towards the floor. Maybe you can do it without your hands or holding the back of the chair. Coming back up, using those side muscles, going down, coming back up. Three, going for five on each side, going down, four, coming back up, five, whoop, four, this is a serious five. Up. And down, last one. All right, 
bring that ball in, put it just above the knees, in between. So sit between the thighs, sitting up nice and tall, bring the shoulders back. We're gonna squeeze those thighs together for five, four, three, two, one, release. And squeeze them again for five, four, three, two, one, release. Squeeze them in again. Five, four, three, two, one, release. Squeeze them in. Five, four, three, two, one, release. Last one. Squeeze it in nice and tight. Five, four, three, two, one, let it go. And just rock it back and forth. And scooch back a little bit in your chair. As long as we got the ball right here, we're going to do some leg lifts. We're going to reach down and pull those knees in. Sitting up nice and tall. Bringing the knees up. And just reaching. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Just bring them as high as you can bring them. That feels comfortable. Eight. Nine. And ten. Slide the ball down a little bit further. We'll come down by the ankles. Same thing. I'm going to lift up and back. So lifting him up and tapping down for two. Three. And tap for four. Four. Come back and tap. Five. Sitting up nice and tall. Six. Seven. the ball back up. A couple more isometrics for the arm. Bringing the ball up right in front of the heart, chest level, or shoulder level. Wrap the hands around the ball and let's squeeze in for five, four, three, two, one, and release. Again, squeezing in, five, four, three, two, one. Relax those muscles. Three, four, five, and release. Squeezing in, pushing in with all your might. Five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Last one, pushing in, really working the arms for five, four, three, two, one, and let them down. Bicep curls. Bring the arm up just like you're doing a bicep curl. So we're making a little, we're sliding the ball in between the elbow and the shoulder and squeezing for five, four, three, two, one, and relax. And squeezing up, five, four, three, two, one, and down. Three more. Up, five, four, three, Two, one, relax. And again, down and up. Five, four, three, two, one. Let it go. And slip it over to the other side. Same thing on the second side. Bring in the crooked elbow. Squeeze it in a little bit for five, four, three, two, one. Release. Squishing in. Five. Four, three, two, one, let it go. Three more, squeezing it nice and tight. Five, four, three, two, one, let it go. And squeeze, five, four, three, two, one, and release. One more, squeezing in, five, four, three, two, one, let it go. All right, shake those arms out. Squeeze back in the chair, we're doing one more great big stretching, maybe two. All right, sweeping the arms up, up overhead, bring the ball to the top and bring it back down to the side. So now we're starting to slow down and stretch it up. Bring the ball up and transfer hands. Head down, up and as high as
as in the dough. Over and down. Smooth it down. If your shoulders don't like this, don't take it as high. Just bring it up to that shoulder height and come over. But if you can, reach up nice and tall. Stretch out the whole side body. Exhale, move it down. <coughs> Going back up and over. Last one. Sweeping it up. Transfer hands. Let the arms come down. So taking the ball, let's go across the body this time. Keeping both hips planted. Just doing a little bit of a twist in here, coming across. Look around beside you, following the ball. So you're almost looking backwards. Tapping from side to side. Three. Over and across to four. Five, we are almost done now. Coming back to center, grab the ball in the other hand, coming across, and back. And sweep. Three, great twist in the low back. Four, turn back across. Five, or four, yeah. Four more. Three, and across, two, and across, and last one, coming back to center. Whew. We work the whole body using the ball. So I hope to see you in the gym and keep trucking. Keep practicing those rolling, the tricky bonus ones. And thanks for coming.